It's a very warm welcome to the Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi. It's match number nine of this DP World ILT20. It's a rematch from two nights ago. Change of venue, but the same teams. Abu Dhabi Knight Riders technically at home against the Desert Vipers. Were you amazed by Sonny Ryan's comments at the toss? Apparently, they want to keep the score down to as little as possible when they bowl and make the run. Because they got it secret at the moment. It certainly has been for the three games they've played. Anyway, uh, some outstanding players, including this man, of course, Dre Russell, who's been around the circuit for a long, long time now. And the entertainment has started from the first ball. <laughs> An extraordinary shot from Ryan Mustafa. So one little look at uh, Dre Russell running in, decided what to do almost before the ball had left his hand. This is what I learned. This is how the big boys prepare. Uh, that's going to be four more. That is definitely four more. Short ball, but not with the venom we saw from the one before. In four balls. Now uh, that might get exactly what Abu Dhabi Knight Riders need. And is that the early wicket? Yes, it is. So two boundaries, just a moment maybe of over ambition from Rowan Mustafa. Which gives them a little bit of confidence. Haven't won a single game in the tournament so far. So they will be feeling the heat, they will be feeling the pressure. Confidence will be low. But when you get off to a good Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That's the shot of a man in form. It's the first six of the night. The first fair play news biggest hit contender. Struck with just absolute ease as well. 18 for one. Yeah, effortless. And as you rightly said, David, that's, that's the shot of, of a man is together. And B, they'll have to work on that net run rate. Well, the short ball is pulled away nicely, very nicely indeed by Colin Monroe. The sort of shot that gets a man some confidence, gets a man maybe pointed in the right direction towards... He can't set a field to. That's a better shot. He gets the same number of runs on the boards, but he will feel so much better with that shot than he did with the previous one. Wow. That is some power. Absolutely brilliant from his point of view. That's a skyexchange.net super four. Yep. That's uh, really good from Alex Hale's point of view because he was looking to open up that offside and then he saw that the bowler followed him and he said, that's fine, I'll just use the leg side then. Brilliant. Yeah, you can't bowl at him at this pace, with this pace, at this length, towards his legs. Every time he will punish you. This is for the maximum. 18 runs from the previous over. I'm out of the way. That's beautifully played. That's got to be six. Excellent shot from Alex Hills. You were just saying that he wanted to, to keep, keep strike, retain strike, and this is exactly why. Yeah, so the contender to win, Alex Hales. He is loving his time here at the DP World ILT20. Smoking another one out of the screws. You've given him a chance. He's been put down. Now he's going to make the Knight Riders pay. He is in sublime touch, Alex Hales. Easy, a lovely swing. Effortless. On the charge. Oh, ho, 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 ho. straight down the ground. That is definitely... A contender for the fair play news. Biggest hit of the day. He's praying to win. He comes into his own. He's just speed off. A little shimmy down the track and then boom. That big floor. Five of 37. What a player. Uh, he's back on the ball now. That has traveled. He can't keep him quiet for long, can he? He can't keep a good man down. He was coming. Two dot balls, knowing his attitude, knowing his mindset, knowing his form. It was one of the biggest shots in this game so far. Right in the slot. Middled it to perfection. That sounded beautiful, and it has gone yet further. Dragged away over deep in wickets. Boom, boom, indeed. Boom, boom, Hale's going for it. 
target delivery, slog sweep into the night. You might need a bike to get that ball gone miles away onto the hill. Tell you what was so good about that. He's not quite to me at his best yet. Now, has he got hold of that? Yes, he has. Yeah, that is the sort of thing he's been looking for. And he has managed to dispatch that over the man at deep mid wicket. And uh, 138 for one. 85 meters. That will give him a world of confidence. Straight down the ground. Now, is it hard enough? Yes, it is. Just ideal placement. And made to look incredibly simple. Russell pushes it up there, floats it up there on a length. Hale says thank you. That should do it. Stunning performance from Alex Hales. A hundred from just 52 deliveries. Big smile, big celebrations. The first hundred of this DP World ILT20 goes to... 52. Del only on 52 deliveries. That's it. Into the slot. Let's see. This will go all the way. That's his 50 as well. 55 of 39 from Munro. All happening for the Vipers. 169 for 1 in 16. And the nightmare continues right now for the home side. That is sensational. 50 up for the bowler. What a hit this is. This was good. This is even better. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I can think of many a player. Left-hander from the Caribbean down the years. I would have enjoyed that. That's a great hit. Up and over. <laughs> Trying to clear the ropes on the leg side. And it's hit high on the bat. And Tanajai de Silva takes the catch. Makes it look pretty simple. And another stick for Kumara. Don't worry, chaps. You're going all right. Kumara throwing all his experience. Lahiru Kumara out the back of the hand. Excellent. Giving Rutherford no pace to work with. Not out of the screws. Simple catch in the deep. Don't know how he got it there. But he's done well, and it's worth it. That's a great shot. Absolutely brilliant from Tom Curran. Going straight. And just long enough. Just parried over the boundary rope. A handy six at this stage. If you're not going to catch it, you've got to get the ball back in play. Even if you parry it back in. I think he could have done a bit better in this day and age. Right. Communication is uh, for two. Alex Hales has got to be feeling tired by this stage. And eventually he will be dismissed, but it's on the last ball of the innings. What a magnificent knock from Alex Hales, who is in the form of his life. Alex Hales is dominating this tournament. Yeah, this is the last ball just... Tug leg side and Hales, you have to go. He's he's tired. You can see he's been out there since the start. Got to go for two. Team comes first. Good throw. That's a great knock. What a brilliant innings. 220 from 120 balls. Abu Dhabi Night Riders looking for their first win of the tournament. Great for a partnership. They've got to start from the, the ball go. Brandon King. We could keep it tonight. Kinar Lewis and I'm afraid, Kinar, you owe your side a few runs. Because when Alex Hale's top edged one, that was your catch. He was on 37. Cottrell gets wicked with the new ball, swings it into the right hander with Nippy. Shape, early shape. And this this attack for the Vipers is perfect for Cottrell because he's not a bowler that bowls at a death anymore. Straight up in the air. Hoyt leg side gets plenty of it. Up on the bank. It's the first. Fair play news, biggest hit of the innings, he's hit, playing to win. They're off, I thought it was a top edge. Went for maximum. Yeah, it wasn't top edge, he didn't middle it at all. Yeah, you're spot on. Doesn't get this anywhere near the middle. Thick edge. That was a long way. Oh! Cleans him up, the soldier! Give us a salute! Beauty!
This is what happens when you pitch it up with the new ball early on, swing the ball as a left armer, brings the ball back into a batter. Look at his delivery, beautiful seam position, nipped, nipped back, off stem gone, a beautiful sight for any fast bowler. And look at the famous celebration. Definitely. That's a good shot, short and wide. He's very strong there. Couple of bounces into the fence. First boundary for uh, Lewis. Uh, full P, searching for swing. Easy pickings. Little battle within a battle there. Battle of Jamaica, Lewis versus Cottrell. Don't mind as a captain if you're bold to try to get him. Doesn't get hold of it. Tom Curran, he's a great fielder. That is easy as you like, and I'm afraid for the Knight Riders, any time you try something aggressive, you lose a pole. Cottrell all smiles. Second wicket for Cottrell. What a spell from him. 2 for 11 in his dawn. Didn't medal it. Moved his head. Easy catch from one of the best fielders in this uh, DP IL, DP ILT 20. And look at the famous uh, celebrations again. Love him, love his attitude. What a spell. But you know, first two years I was a young kid, I wanted to play a game every day. And after third year, I realized when the rain is coming, because everyone else was looking for rain, I remember. Well, straight up in the air, it's going to be taken. Oh no, Colin Monroe takes it with absolute consummate ease. Gus Atkinson into the attack, bangs away at a good length. Ingram. Has to get a move on and can just plink it up in the air. They've lost a third. In the main man, then middle it, top edged it straight to the fielder, to the skipper. An easy catch. They are under pressure here now. Three wickets gone. We're into fourth over. Only 18. Oh, brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! They cannot put a foot wrong tonight. And Hasaranga, who was so good the other night with the ball, finds the stumps from the field this time. Yeah, he's a gonzo and he knows it. Well, that was simply stunning. Excellent pickup. One stump to aim at. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. No surprise there. Asalanka has to go for zero. It's 18 for four. Moving across his stumps and saying, well, there's plenty of space on the leg side. I'm going to go for that. Is this a little change in the game? 41 for four. Well, well, well. He has been so good tonight, and we have loved the entertainment from Cottrell. What a way to finish a magnificent spell of bowling tonight. Again, just the angle of that left arm pacer going away from the right-hander. Too close to cut, but the angle makes you think like it's right there, but it's not. There comes the salute. Majority of the strike. Oh, okay. Well, Hasaranga just can't, can't stop taking wickets. He got off the plane just a few nights ago, picked up three the other night, and here he is in Abu Dhabi taking another. Yeah, just didn't pick him over here. As you can see, trying to play him off the pitch, and then suddenly a little closer than you'd have wanted to have played that shot. Just did not pick him. Don't provide a smart logistics solution. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go again. Oh, well, it's, it's ten a penny, isn't it? For Hasaranga, all it seems he has to do is let the ball go. And he's weaving that web of mystery. Yes. Let me try and put back the ball. Goes on a slog sweep. Tried a couple of nights ago in Dubai against the same bowler, failed, and Colin Monroe, captain. Loud call, safe catch. The odd for seven. Chasing 220. That's a good shot. That's a very good shot. Yeah, nice bit of timing. Dre Ross is. We'll just try and open the shoulders here. 
You might be right. Now, the other night, first ball, a similar shot ended up in the hands of deep mid wicket. Tonight, it has sailed over that boundary rope. Off the toe, look at the ball, look at the connection. Yeah, nothing. Look if he gets that out of the middle, it's another 30 or 40 meters back. No. Well, somehow he's managed to dispatch that into the stands. It rushed him a little bit, but he adjusted well. The ball Subtle change ups. Cut. And he so often will come into the attack and pick up a wicket. He doesn't have a lot of pace, but he's got good skill. Good variations uh, from uh, Howell. He's got his uh, first wicket. That was his first delivery. No heart. The way they're playing their cricket, he was an off cutter. He was trying to play against the spin, got the edge, easy catch by the bowler. Good cotton bold. Standing in the way of the Vipers, finishing this off. Clears the front leg and out into the stands. Half century for the big hitting Dre Russ. First half century for this tournament. Joined fastest in this tournament by Andre Russell. 51 of 25. They settle on the same field previously. So he decides, I'm going to go offside and straight to hand. He won that little battle. It was a tough one from him initially, but he should smile now. He's got his man in the end. Big deal for Shiraz. He's got the wicket of one of the biggest hitters in the modern T20 format. Straight to Mustafa. Rohan Mustafa. He middled it. Didn't get the elevation right and uh, very well judged catch. And look at the excitement from this youngster. Shiraz got his first wicket and that too. <laughs> oh, that's oh, far too close. That looks out from the naked eye. It looks out to the umpire. No doubt it'll be reviewed because, well, what else might as well you do at this time of day? But that looks very much to me like the end of proceedings here at the Zayed Stadium for the night. Yes, they'll review it. Right, the moment of truth, final truth for you. Pitching in line, hitting middle stump firmly just near the top. So the original decision is indeed confirmed. As Lee Reefer just says, yep. Told you it was out, and I'll tell you again. But it means that the Abu Dhabi Night Risers have fallen to their, what is it, fourth consecutive defeat. They're still to find a point in this tournament for the Vipers, though. They are playing super confident cricket.